What is up everybody? We are back and today I want to talk about something that has really helped me in all aspects of my life from business to mental health, OCD and just my day-to-day -day life and that is my belief and trust in the Lord. Now I know some people maybe might have different beliefs than me but for me I've always believed in the Lord and I've always had somewhat of a relationship with Him but more recently, I have been really practicing kind of being in touch with the Lord, um, speaking and praying to the Lord, and just really giving up a lot of my anxieties to Him. Because I got to a point where I couldn't handle all of the anxieties and stress on my own. And I'll go into a little bit of an explanation, and I'd like to talk about how it's helped me in the OCD and anxiety aspect and also how it's helped me in business and day-to-day -day life. So you all know that I have obsessive compulsive disorder and anxiety and I've been working on that my entire life but more recently I got into ERP so I was doing the exposure response prevention therapy, I was doing all the things that I was supposed to be doing but I always had this anxiety about me, fear about different things that would go on, that anxiety would kind of stay with me. The triggers and the spikes wouldn't be so bad, but I would get anxiety about things. So I really have been practicing giving that up to the Lord. And the same in business. We we go through situations where maybe maybe a client turns us down and it triggers anxiety about, you know, am I running my business right? Am I doing everything right? Um, I have a lot of anxiety about dealing with my knee surgery, dealing with um, working through physical therapy to heal my elbow, dealing with just normal things that come up in your life. If when problems arise, I would really carry all of that anxiety with me and I would you know, come on here and talk to everybody about how to deal with your anxiety and I would um, go to therapy and talk to my therapist about how I'm going to deal with my anxiety. But really what I would be doing is just bottling it up and carrying it with me always. So I would always be at a certain level of anxiety and I'd always be kind of tense and one situation away from having an anxiety attack or or, or relapsing into my um, OCD compulsions or just really ruminating on on issues in my life and and not not really working through them and I've really been practicing over the last year or so getting up in the morning going into my garage where I do my stretching and physical therapy and during that time just being with the Lord just praying to him just thanking him for the things I have and being grateful because when we're grateful for the things that we do have, it, it it brings in that positivity into our life. So it wasn't immediate. Um, I, I'd go out there and I'd play like a motivational video about um, the Lord, about God. I would sit and think about all of the things in my life that the Lord has gotten me through and where I'm at today. And through my... Um, how can I portray this correctly? Through having a relationship with God in my youth and in my upbringing to looking at all the situations in my life, I had this realization like it is the Lord. There's no reason that I should be here in the situation that I am in without the Lord. So that was kind of my first realization and it really kind of brought me closer to the Lord and kind of started to renew that faith that I had. But I find myself carrying this anxiety with me. It, it, it just kind of always stayed with me. And I got to a place where I was like, and this was specifically with my elbow, I was like, man, I have to give up control of this. I can only do what I can do, but I have to give this anxiety and this worry to the Lord. And I did that and I started to feel so much better about that. So I started to try to do that with other situations in my life. If a problem or arose or OCD crept in, I gave it over to the Lord and I'd say, hey Lord, I, I know that you are using these things to strengthen me and all of the, the practice we've been doing, you want me to put into place now. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have ultimate faith 
and I'm going to resist the OCD compulsions. I'm going to resist the impulses to um, reach out to these clients and, and, and do all these things to relieve the anxiety. I'm going to release the tension about certain situations that come up in my life feeling like I need to control them. I'm going to release that to you. And it didn't happen overnight, but as I continually recognized and, and did those things, I started to feel this weight being lifted. And I cannot tell you how many days I've been in the garage and I just, I know that what's going on in my life has to do with the Lord. And I really want to challenge all of you to find that faith, find that higher power, um, and mine is the Lord, that that can carry you through these things because I don't believe we're supposed to go through these things alone. I don't believe we go through any of these things alone. And I don't believe that the Lord puts anything in our life that isn't supposed to make us stronger. And I can see that through all of the history of the things that have gone on in my life. To be where I'm at today, it's all grace of the Lord. So I wanted to share that with you guys because it's really, really helping me in my life. So like always... Like this video so other people can find it. Leave me a comment of a way that you've gotten closer to the Lord and renewed your faith and it's helped you through the difficult things in your life. And like always, subscribe. I'm getting more and more subscribers every day and I cannot wait to go to the St. Matthew's house, gift them with a $100 gift card, and also start working on this little cubby here for a new background and new studio space. So tell your friends, share this with somebody that you think it can help, and thank you all.